welcome back to my channel. Here I am looking like some kind of cut up demon witch person. I don't even know, um, but I really like it. I think this look is quite simple but effective. So as you guys know, Halloween isn't too far away. It's only in like two months time. So I'm so looking forward to it. I'm so excited. Um, I thought I'd do lots of Halloween tutorials leading up to Halloween because Halloween is only once a year and I absolutely love doing scary gory looks so I feel like it's a good excuse to just do heaps of looks building up to Halloween um, and it's also good for you guys because you get a lot of time to see what looks you might want to do before Halloween because I know sometimes some of you guys have a party like every weekend for like three or four weekends for Halloween um, and some of you guys just like experimenting with different looks and recreating my looks as well so yay yay for Halloween looks and I think this is something that I'm like most known for as well like my gory scary stuff and it's always the stuff that gets like the most engagement and you guys seem to absolutely love it so yeah here's the look I hope you guys like it um this video is gonna be like a tutorial but also like a chit chat style like I'm just gonna update you guys about a few things in my life and kind of talk as I go along talk a bit about glow up in Z which just aired yesterday um, which I'm so proud of I am in glow up New Zealand if you have seen glow up UK then you would know how exciting it is and yeah so if you want to learn how to get this creepy Halloween makeup tutorial then just keep on watching Okay, so mind the horrible here because it is like all curly and I slept in it. I don't have any fake tan on. My lips are dry as hell. Like I feel disgusting right now, but I'm like, come on, it's a Halloween look. I'm gonna look disgusting when this is done anyway. So first I'm gonna do my makeup as per usual. I'm just gonna do a really simple look. Um, nothing too extreme because I'm gonna be covered in like barbed wire anyway. I've had this look in my head for a while now. Like I've wanted to do it for Halloween. Ever since I done like this demon look with the barbed wire across my forehead, I thought it was really cool. And I'll do some kind of look with barbed wire or like an illusion that it's like pulling me tight. I don't know. This is my favorite foundation ever right now. It is just so good um, and it's, Full coverage and yeah, I just really like it. It's quite affordable as well. I did a review on this over on the Cherry app. Um, so if you wanna go follow me on Cherry, you can. Cherry is like Instagram, but there's like heaps of honest, real reviews from like real genuine people. And yeah, I find that app like so handy. So anyway, I have a lot to tell you guys about. Um, so if you guys didn't know like Ages ago, back in a video, I was talking about how I had something really exciting and we could announce it. I don't even think I've mentioned this since then because we could announce it like two weeks ago. But I am on Glow Up NZ. Um, so I don't know if you guys have seen the UK version. Um, I absolutely loved watching that um, in our first lockdown. Um, so yeah, there's a New Zealand version and I was lucky enough to be on the show um it was such a cool experience it was so overwhelming like mentally emotionally and physically overwhelming um because it's a reality tv show um and let's just say that i don't want to spoil it for those of you guys who haven't watched it yet but let's just say i don't last long somebody's gonna go home straight away like it's an elimination show so it's almost like master chef where it's a competition, you've got some briefs to do. So we do two looks throughout the day and then one look is for the face off at the end, like the two worst people. So you could imagine how like stressful that is. Um, but yeah, I'm so proud that I did it and I still really love my first look to this day. So this was my first look and this was my second look. I didn't really like my second look that much, but I was put in the red chair all the rounds. Um, a lot of people have messaged me saying they don't reckon like my looks deserve to be in the red chair, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Someone has to go home and they are so amazingly talented like all the other makeup artists. We're all like really close friends now. Um, I knew half of them from like outside of the show, like from events and just online. And then it was the first time I met like Sachin, Carl and Richard. Um, so it was really cool meeting them. Um, so yeah, it was really fun. And despite me going home early, like I was so proud of myself because I wasn't going to do the show in the first place. And um, Warner Brothers had reached out to us, like it wasn't an application process. So the fact that they reached out to us and found us 
was like really cool. It was really cool and I'm so glad that I did it because I was like so nervous. Like I wasn't gonna go on it. I was like, oh my gosh, like it's so out of my comfort zone. Like I've only done makeup on others like a few times before, like my friends and my family. So the model brief like really scared me and I watched the show and I was actually like so proud of myself. Like it wasn't actually as bad as what I thought it was. Um, and yeah, the fact that I did makeup like on someone else. That's probably why I had issues with it being symmetrical because um, like I'm not used to doing another person's face. So yeah, but I was still proud of myself. Um, and yeah, the fact that I went on it was like a big achievement for me and I made so many amazing friends. Um, and that's probably why you see me hanging out with like Sachin and Isadora lots lately because I became like so much closer um, towards them from the show. I'm just gonna put this on. I'm not gonna do my makeup like too fancy underneath because I'm gonna be covered in barbed wire anyway and I don't want the focus to be on my normal makeup. Zoom you guys in even though I'm like, mm, I don't want you guys to see my flaws. My skin has been not the best at the moment. I don't know why. Maybe it's my snack eating or not enough water or just winter because look how dry these lips are. Oh my gosh, I need to put some blistics on them ASAP. But yeah, I'm so, so um, thankful for being on the show and I wanna thank you guys who messaged me and said that they really liked my work and I didn't deserve to go home first and that you guys just supported me all the way. Like, that means so, so much to me. But just keep in mind, just because the show's over and I went home first doesn't mean like that like changes me or puts me down in any way because I've got so many amazing like, opportunities and experiences from being online and it's all thanks to you guys like if it wasn't for you guys watching me and supporting what I do then I wouldn't have any of these experiences at all so regardless of me going home first I'm just so like just always so positive and thankful and everyone on set's like oh my gosh you're so good from be like for being so positive and after leaving even our psychologist like on the phone because we get a psychologist for ages after being on the show like for three years or something and um we all talked to her and even she said like oh my gosh you've got such a positive mindset and it's so good how you can just like learn from this and you're not like negative about it but i told her it's like because you know this is only one of the many amazing experiences that i get you know from being online like it's not like i lose glow up oh it's all over like you know what i mean Honestly, it was such a cool experience, like, and just being a part of reality TV, like, was really cool. I wouldn't expect to have gone on a show like that. Um, I'm just setting my face now with this MAC Medium Plus Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. I've hit the pan, as you can see. You can watch it if you're from New Zealand, so you can get it on TVNZ On Demand. Um, so it's the app you get. I'm so gutted that it wasn't, like, on TV, but the fact that you know, we're on demand anyway, it's so cool. And seeing the ad on like mainstream TV is so cool as well. So I'll put the ad in here so you can have a little watch. I'm an emerging makeup artist. I'm very excited to show people what I've got. On a journey of transformation. Make us proud. Love it. It is just not enough. Something that I'm not proud of. I'm in love with it. <laughs> it's time to show New Zealand their true colors. This is a work of art. And face it till they make it. This is just the beginning. Glow Up NZ, streaming now on TVNZ On Demand. I'm gutted you guys from overseas can't watch it. Um, maybe if you get like a VPN service. But yeah, very exciting and I'm so proud of myself and just for going on there and just meeting everybody. They're so talented and I just love everyone so much. We've got like our own little group chat on Instagram and we talk on there every day. We filmed back in like February, so the fact that it's only just aired yesterday was like such a long wait. Um, and we were so worried like how everything was gonna look and um, we were scared like if we were portrayed as anything different and all this kind of stuff. But like honestly, everyone just looked so amazing and the show was just, yeah, really well done. Anyway, enough of talking about Blow Up. Who's like really excited about um, Halloween. I don't know how it's gonna go because we might be in lockdown. Like, I, I so hope that we don't have a lockdown over Halloween here in New Zealand because honestly, Halloween is my favorite time of year. 
Um, oh, anyway, I didn't say what I'm using. So I'm using the Benefit Cheek Stars Reunion Tour Palette. And I'm just using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I'm going to use some blush and some highlighter from this palette. I absolutely love this palette. It's so good. But yeah, anyway, we're in level 2 right now in New Zealand, which means we have some restrictions. We still have to keep our socially distancing up and we have to like um, only go in like a few people at a time and like stores and shops and stuff. Um, and right now Auckland, one of our biggest cities, is in level 3, which means they're nearly in a lockdown. They can still go out and do things, but mainly just like gas station, supermarket, um, most schools are closed. So yeah, it's still like pretty scary. Well, we don't have it as bad as like many other countries, but um, yeah, it is still pretty scary considering that it was transmission related, like community transmission related cases. So they don't know how it came back. I mean, it could have come back through the people traveling back home and from the quarantine facilities or the fact that they only quarantined for two weeks and they might show symptoms like three weeks later and like pass it on. I'm not sure. It's a mystery, but yeah, so it is back here in New Zealand, even though we were lucky enough to have a full like 100 days without any community transmission cases. If it seems like I'm in a bit of a rush, like I kind of am, because I have a um, teeth whitening follow-up appointment with Lush Smile. So if you're from the Bay of Plenty area, Lush Smiles is amazing. Like she works from home, she does it in her own house and Oh my gosh, her whitening is amazing. They look so white, but they will look even whiter because she's doing a follow-up appointment. And I'm getting a lash lift, so she also does lash lifts. They're called like yummy lash lifts or something like that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of color in the crease. I'm using my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam palette. I always use this, and as you can see, my favorite colors are burnt orange because of hip pan, and I use like this color a lot and this color a lot. Actually, before I get onto eyeshadow, I might actually just put a little bit of colour in my brows because I normally leave them natural, um, but when I have like a full face of makeup on, the foundation can go on my brows and make them look a little bit lighter. So, so I'm going to take the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder in the shade number 3. This is one of my favourites for my brows. It comes with a brush and look how cool that is. It's like a little brow shape in the pan. I always use this colour here. So I'm just putting it. Only, like literally the slightest bit just to darken them up again considering there's a bit of foundation in there so see even adding that littlest bit makes such a difference see from like that one to that one you guys seem to absolutely love my Halloween um, my Halloween looks so yay I'm looking forward to doing like heaps again and I'm going to upload heaps to Instagram, so if you don't follow me on Instagram already, I'll leave my handle just here for you guys. Um, and if you don't follow me on TikTok, I'll leave my handle here for you guys. I absolutely love TikTok now. Uploading every week to there, well I try to anyway. Yeah, anyway, I love TikTok. I put like videos of me removing my makeup, my creative makeup on there, and surprisingly, it gets more views than me putting on the makeup, which is quite funny, but... A lot of people said it's quite satisfying and a lot of people say that I sound like Miley Cyrus. But honestly I'm still so stoked that I went on the show and yeah like the fact that I'm on TV I'm like oh that's so cool in itself. The only time I've ever been on TV before was on a Thin Lizzy ad um, on their winged eyeliner product that they had released um, and a few people had spotted me on TV like mostly my family members because I guess others just wouldn't click and I didn't really tell anybody that I was on the Thin Lizzy ad and I was on the ad for like a whole year <laughs> so if you did spot it then that was me <laughs> if you were thinking oh that girl looks like Alicia yes it was me um even though it was like really highly edited and and it was like blurry as because they try to blur out my bad skin <laughs> Oh, I feel bad because I hear Henry meowing. My door's shut. Henry's doing well, by the way, guys. He's getting much bigger. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm just like going on with my makeup. I'm not even telling you what I'm using. So I'm using the Milani Satin Matte Lip Cream in the shade 10. This is my favorite red ever. I also did a review on this on the Cherry app.
I absolutely love it and so many of you guys always give me compliments when I wear red lipstick so I'm literally wearing red lipstick all the time now. I think it just compliments my skin tone and it also makes my eyes look really blue and it just amps up any makeup look. Like look at this makeup look I did. So this is like a natural makeup look that I would do if I was going out. So oh look it's almost like a two in one tutorial. Okay this might take a while so yeah I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Oh no it's waterproof. Is this a good thing to use? I don't know. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to do barbed wire like all around my face and around my body as if I'm like being strangled. Oh my god, my eyes are being really irritated lately. I swear I'm like going blind. My battery's flashing, so I might just come back when I do most of this barbed wire, and then I'll come back when I'm doing the details. Okay, so I'm back. I did all the barbed wire all down my chest. It took a little while, but my eyeliner did run out, and I think that's because it's going over, like, oily foundation, and the more you use it, the more it's going to run out. So I use the Meron Makeup um, Paradise Makeup 8-Color Palette. Um, I use this all the time. I so need some more. Um, you can see it's already running out heaps, but I use the black and I just use it with a little bit of water on a fine brush. This one's just from like Warehouse Stationery. I want to do two little prongs sticking up above the like little balls. I don't know exactly what you call them, but yeah, two wires that stick up. Up like that. There we go. So it looks like a little spider at the minute, but that's actually a barbed wire goes. So I'm just going to do like little flicks. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of this all down the rest of my body and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that's all done. I look very spiky, but now it's time to add the details. So I'm going to put some white eyeliner like in between all the barbed wiring and then I'm going to put shadow across everyone and then I'm going to put like shadow across here to make it look like I'm really like being squeezed and tightened by the barbed wire. Oh my gosh, this is actually pretty gory when you think about it. Um, So I'm using the Makeup Revolution um, Supreme Dip Liner in white. So I am an early childhood teacher. So I am looking forward to this horrible winter weather to disappear because like I swear the kids go absolutely crazy like on a rainy day and it makes it so hard and difficult sometimes. Um, so I'm just so looking forward to summer because when it is a nice beautiful sunny day honestly the day is at like peace and it's so nice. Everyone plays like so happily. And yeah, I love working in early childhood. Um, I definitely am close with like my team and all my families and stuff. And that is why I don't choose to do social media full time. Like a lot of you guys still seem to think I do it full time, but I don't. Like I do early childhood part time and then social media part time. Like it's a good balance of both. But the reason why I don't want to do like social media full time is because I want those real life interactions and I feel like working from home 24 7 can actually make you quite like depressed and anxious and it's not good for your mental health. So it's good to like get out there and um, have those real life interactions because remember guys social media is not real. It's just a highlight reel of people's lives so like I feel like if you did that full time then it would really get you down. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, but even our psychologist that we get like from Glow Up, she said that I sound like really wise and re really smart and she definitely agrees and she's glad that I made that decision as well to just stay doing early childhood part time because it can get really like sad and lonely and um, yeah she's got a lot of clients that feel that way as well when they're doing like things from home all the time. And if you guys didn't know, I run my own like forest school program every Tuesday out in 
um, Waikino. Like, you know, we make fires, we make huts, we roast marshmallows, we look for bugs, we dig dig up the ground, we make treasure maps, we make like pottery and stuff with mud and find insects and bugs and big spiders and like all that kind of stuff in the bush and I absolutely love it because when I was a kid I was such like a bug fiend like I love finding bugs and being out in the bush and we used to have like a creek and a bush um, out the back of our section where we lived. And I do travel for work like I am driving into Waihi from pretty much Taringa. So yeah like I am traveling but it's because I love my team, I love my job and I love the fact that I run my own like forest kids program like it is so cool and especially out in summer like everyone is just so different out there. Like it's crazy how calm the kids are in nature and like how ex like how curious they are and like the ideas they come up with and you know they play just so nicely and I love it and apparently nature does do that for people, kids as well, like it relieves stress, anxiety, you know, it makes you like a curious explorer and learner and you know, you connect with nature and you just show a whole new appreciation for like the environment and um, nature and it is so important to teach our kids that these days, especially if we want our next generation to be like caring for the planet and worrying about things like pollution and global warming and um, caring for our like animals and stuff like that. Okay so now I'm just gonna add some white on the chain itself and then I will move on to the shading. Anyway I'm using my Morphe and James Charles I need you an artist palette. Oh my gosh, who doesn't have this palette? Okay, I'm gonna take like some browns and a little bit of like black and I'm going to smudge this like underneath the barbed wire. Okay, so I did all the shadowing. Oh, his eyes are beautiful. I can't get over his eyes. I <laughs> always give him kisses. Look at the camera in. Show them your eyes. Show them your eyes. I'm gonna highlight it in brown. Okay, this ain't even really an illusion, honestly, guys. I do not know like how Mimmels does the stuff that she does. I love her artwork. She's on. Instagram, Mimi Choi. Oh my gosh, she is just so talented in everything that she does. Okay, so I'm grabbing one of these little brushes. I got it in like a makeup set from Kmart. And I'm gonna take the Ben Nye Fresh Scare Blood. And I'm just gonna add it like down the sides of some of the barbed wire because it looks like it's really puncturing my skin. So I'm going to put on the Carousel Cosmetics Faux Mink Lashes. As you can see here, I love this packaging. Um, I've worn these lashes once before and I think they are so cool. They look really good. So I'm going to pop these on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put the lashes on. I'm so glad I did because it just brings more attention to the eyes as well. And I think it just looks so much better. Oh my gosh. Lashes honestly make such a difference to someone's eyes. And I'm gonna put White Witch in one eye, so it makes it look like I'm turning half demon and my eyes are like, I'm getting squeezed so hard that my eyes like bursting or something, I don't even know. Ooh, so this is how it looks with the contacts and it just makes it look so much more creepy as if I'm like some kind of witch doctor or something. So anyway, I'm gonna do something with this hair because it's just like letting the look down a little bit. So I'm just going to, give it a little bit of a spray. I always like doing this where I put my hair like back. I think it just makes it look like I'm some kind of evil person. I don't know why I associate this like back hairstyle with evil. Oh my god look at this comb, yuck. Oh my gosh Henry's looking at me being like what the hell? He's in the cupboard and he's just staring at me. He's probably thinking uh mom is that you? 
Mom, is that you? <laughs> Sometimes people don't want really like complex concepts and complex looks. Like they just want something simple to go out on Halloween with. So there you go. Okay, so here's the finished look. I hope you guys like it. If you think you will recreate this on Halloween, then definitely let me know. Um, I'd love to see some recreations. And if you do recreate any of my Halloween looks, then tag me on Instagram and I will be sure to leave some love on your photo and share it on my Instagram stories. So if you did like this look, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every every Monday at 8.30am New Zealand time and from now I'm going to be uploading Halloween looks for the rest of August, September and October like I hope you guys don't get sick of it um, I probably will have like a few wish hauls and stuff in between anyway I hope you guys like this video thanks again for all your love and support that you always give me it just truly means the world to me and you guys are amazing um, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys in my next week's video bye